Yeah, this is news day, uh, and that means that the students all had to be in at 10 a.m. today for their first production meeting. Uh, their task for the day is to create a 30-minute sports news magazine show. That's got to go live at 3.30, so that's about five and a half hours from now. So they've put together a running order, or they need to put together a running order, which will be a mixture of features, news pieces, action, chat, analysis. And I want them to think about that editorial balance of the programme, to think about diversity, to think about pace, and to think about news and journalism and um, trying to pack that 30 minutes with entertainment and information. We want to be sweeping through all our sports team social media accounts today. We want to be maybe picking up the phone and getting in touch with people, saying if you've got any news, transfers, end of season, can we have a quote from someone? I think that planning a show like this is really good to help you consider this as a potential job for the future. It's you know it's it's a very similar environment in terms of you know very tight turnarounds, making sure the running orders uh, c complete, make sure everyone knows exactly what they're doing, and also just making sure that everyone gets the practice and the skills that they actually want to work on. So with this, it was it was really good to make sure that you know I'm creating a running order that people can follow, but also fits the time frame. So it's not like we're about 10 minutes short. I think we end up being about 10 seconds short. But yeah, it, it's really good practice for a industry environment, really. Yeah, the news days are part of our BJTC accreditation requirements. Uh, the BJTC want to see that these students can work to a deadline, can work to a strict duration, show that they understand um, the fundamentals of broadcast journalism, that they can work in a live environment, they can work under pressure, uh, they can deliver their VTs on time, they can communicate all the information that needs to be on a running order, whether that's about graphics or the duration of chats or the topics and themes they're going to talk about. So really, yeah, they've got to work as a team all day today. Chat. So that's going to be the Alice Bevan feature uh, that Tom's done, and then there'll be Tom in the studio talking about. I think I found the most value kind of this morning, kind of planning and prepping with the team, um, like what's involved with like different elements and what different roles people have and how it all comes together in the end. So yeah, playing your role and then kind of taking that to the, to the production. Between their groups, uh, and they're in groups of about seven or eight, uh, they need to decide who's going to do what. Uh, we want them to be directors, we want them to be producers, we want presenters, reporters, sports news correspondents, we want someone looking after graphics, someone as a floor manager, someone checking all the cameras are okay. The setup is going to be a three camera studio. They've done amazing and then hats off to the girls. So what are they expecting to stay on top of the table? So at the moment Swansea have a game in hand. Uh, pitch side in the football, we can't really due to um, Covid protocols get everyone in our studio at the moment so we've moved our studio to an external position by the football pitch. We've put our director's gallery upstairs uh, in the football gantry. They'll be using vMix in the gantry. Uh, they've got our three Sony, Sony cameras downstairs um, at pitch level. So yeah their programme is a blend of Soccer AM, Football Focus and they've got to be ready at 3.30 to go live on air and that programme has to last exactly 30 minutes. This has definitely been amazing for just organisational skills. Um, it's been really good because, um, it, especially in high intensity situ situations when you've got a lot to do and maybe when you're panicking sometimes, it's kind of just taught you to just work together as a team um, and just come together. And actually, when you do that and when you take your time, when you just are prepared, that's the main thing when you're prepared and it will come together really well. So. The students themselves uh, have all had varying degrees of exposure to live video production. Uh, today uh, and yesterday we went through again the principles with vMix cutting between three different camera angles, um, a wide a variety of tight angles, uh, the option of using uh, radio frequency um, linked cameras as well for remote pitch side uh, reporting, uh, mixing the audio on a separate audio mixer prior to ingestion into vMix, um, wireless um, 
microphones and just reinforcing with them the principles that, um, that are so important for, for, for live production. <laughs>